Today on BRS TV, we have bio pellets. However, before we can go over bio pellets directly, we need to go over the theory behind organic carbon dosing in general. Organic carbon dosing is a method used to increase bacteria populations in the aquarium, which will help process out excess nitrate and phosphate. It is believed much of the nitrate-laden bacteria is then removed via the protein skimmer or consumed by corals or sponges. It is also theorized that some of the nitrite and nitrate is directly removed by being converted into nitrogen gas or nitrous oxide. Prior to bio pellets, one of the more popular methods of organic carbon dosing was vodka. To a lesser degree, some reefers are experimenting with things like rice, vinegar, sugar, and corn-based biodegradable plastics. The issue many reefers have with vodka is finding the correct dosage to begin with and then actually being consistent with those doses afterward. Bio pellets are much easier to maintain because a solid pellet is more of a controlled release and provides a longer term efficient control. There are a variety of different bio pellet brands out there and a handful of different substances that are used. We've tested many of these internally and most work to various degrees. However, the PHA based pellets seem to work the best and once you understand what PHA is, it's easy to understand why. BRS bio pellets are 100% pure PHA. PHA is a natural substance produced by bacteria to store carbon and energy. The bacteria produce PHA when there is an excess carbon source available and other nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus are not available. PHA coupled with the readily available nitrate and phosphate found in most reef aquariums creates the ideal combination for increasing bacterial populations to remove nutrients from the water. So BRS biopellets is a natural substance produced by bacteria as a carbon source for bacteria. Incorporating biopellets into your system is pretty simple. All you need is a pump, some biopellets, and a reactor like this one to tumble them. And while it may not be absolutely required, Many reefers choose to use bacterial booster products like Zeobac. Currently, there are only a few biopellet specific reactors out on the market. You can see Reef Octopus makes one. The biggest difference between a biopellet reactor and a carbon and GFO reactor is that it doesn't use foam pads to hold the media in. Typically, they'll use some type of thin mesh to hold it in, so it doesn't clog over a time. You can see in the Reef Octopus version, they're using a clear thin mesh with the holes just small enough to hold all the media in, but large enough to let basically anything else pass through. It also has a unique cone shape at the bottom, which does a really good job of keeping the pellets tumbling long term. Many reefers have also repurposed the Zeo reactor. This is because it comes with a pump, and the unique Zeo reactor design allows you to stir up the pellets if they were to get clogged or become sticky and stop tumbling. With a little do-it-yourself ingenuity, you can really transform basically any upflow reactor into a biopellet reactor by simply removing the foam pads and replacing it with some type of mesh. The most common type of mesh used for this will be a sewing or knitting plastic canvas like this one, and it can be found at most craft stores. So now that you know a little bit more about biopellets, we should talk about who should be using them. I would call biopellets a intermediate level reefing product. This is because it's relatively easy to implement. However, there are a few variables based on bacteria populations and there are a handful of unknowns in general with organic carbon dosing. If you're brand new to the hobby, I would suggest maintaining phosphates with GFO and nitrates with a good feeding schedule and water change schedule. If you are interested in being notified when we make new additions to BRS TV, you can sign up for our newsletter found on almost every product page. You can also log into your account and hit the Newsletter Subscriptions tab.